okay welcome um there are two important questions for us now number one does your pc takes long time to boot number two does your pc slows when it's connected to the internet now these questions if that's what is on your mind please you are in the right place and please if you are just coming to this channel for the first time please do well to help us like this video and help us subscribe god bless you now the questions are very important so we'll take the first part which is um, does your pc takes long time to boot i'm going to explain this and we're going to provide practical solution so stay with me now to boot a computer is to load an operating system into the computer main memory which is the ram okay now once the os is loaded then the windows come up all right now this is it the ram plays a very important role in the whole of this boot process meaning that when you have a smaller amount of ram installed on your system your system might take a longer time to boot and if you have a higher bit of ram your system takes um, a faster time a more little time to to boot but there are times when even when you have a bigger time a bigger memory your system it takes time to to boot what costs it follow me now let's let me just iron this before i proceed to show you what i have now if you have um a ram that is two gig or below please do yourself good by not installing windows 10 you can go with windows 7 since windows 7 does not have plenty features now if you have from 4 gig and above then you can go ahead and install windows 10 now these practices um, include someone who has 2 gig of ram and has windows 7 and someone who has 4 gig at least 4 gig of ram and has windows 10 uh, we are going to um, troubleshoot things that slows the, the system okay let's start with this one this is the common one now it is possible that when you have okay let's have a look at this this you can see this desktop full desktop now if you have a desktop like this and your mind is telling you that it is not possible that with plenty icon on your desktop your boot time will not be slow then is a lie it is possible that having a lot of icons can cause a spike in usage and even slow down your system most of the time this happens when the system is coming up okay now the reason is the system has to read the details of all the things you have on your desktop even when you refresh okay so do yourself where well to change your desktop from filled up like this to maybe something like this let the icon be there you can put some unnecessary thing inside the folder this will improve your boot time now the other part it is, is this um, you can press ctrl or delete if you are using windows 10 if you are using windows 7 you can go to start and um, look for this search for tax manager okay i'm going to i'm using windows 10, so i'm going to press ctrl delete then we we'll enter tax manager let's see Now, now let's go to startup okay and make it full screen so now this is startup you can see i have several applications on my startup now the impact of the applications differ some are extremely heavy like when i mean heavy and can slow your system down okay like the antivirus well what can i do I can't disable I need my antivirus to always start by itself so I leave it this way okay there's another one Microsoft team this one has a lot of impact so I say I disable it I don't use it frequently so anytime I need it I come here and enable it then the other one is Spotify okay I disable them too so you need to check the applications you don't use frequently which always starts when your system comes up and disable them from here if you want your system there's no magic about that one else you need to add more ram to your system okay 
I think that is it for this part. Um, the next part is why does your PC slow once it's connected to the internet? So many people have this very problem with their PC. Once it has internet connection, ah, it will be dragging like, and they will feel maybe because the internet connection is not fast. Now, let me tell you exactly what happened. Now, there are some applications that automatically check updates on your system. Check updates, and once they see updates, they try to communicate to the internet to check whether they have update or or uh, any other features to update for you. Now, all of them, the moment there is internet, every app called the application start going to check and this slow down system. All of them, like the antivirus, Adobe Vida, and the rest. Now, even your Windows itself check updates. So, what we do to resolve what you need to do to resolve is to discover the applications that you have and take control of the update. You should be the one to update them when you want to update them. Also, you can disable Windows updates. Okay, you really need your internet connectivity uh, if you need your system to be okay when you are browsing. Now, let's do it. Let's do this. Um, we should where we start from. Okay, let's load Avas. So I'll show you something on Avas. Um, system is for program and is behaving very well it's because I've already done my own routine work okay now if you have launched Avas you can go to this place menu then come down to settings then from settings you see updates um, please turn this you can see I to control of this if you check my option I have changed it to how update them manually I do this periodically sometimes two months sometimes a month okay and um, the same thing I did for this I don't let the system to automatically if not every day I need to be consuming my data okay okay that has only then let me show you another application Um, okay, this is Adobe Reader. Now, um, go to Edit and um, come down to Preferences. Then you see Updater. You see now automatically download update but let me choose when to install you now be seeing anytime there's update is always downloading so you can put this do not download or install update automatically just be the one control you have other applications on your system so you can do all of this for them the last part and the most important part of it um you can go to service you can search for, 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 for services then open there. Yeah. I already opened it. Um, opened it. Then scroll down to Windows of this. This, if you know you are using Windows 10, you need to do this. Okay. See, I've already put my own on manual. Okay. I changed mine to manual I don't want the system to keep updating okay I stopped it and I put it on manual I don't want this you can disable it if you like I don't want the windows to update by itself I want to be the one to update the window if not you just come and you discover that the window you just activated the activation has expired because the system has picked up it and installed another but maybe you have a uh, 20 H2 before you come your system is now showing 21 H2 or 22 H2 thereabouts 
and you know when they do updates you don't understand just picking up the whereas the memory you have cannot really take those updates the system because so you need to take control of how your system works okay by disabling and putting some things on manual okay now that is it with this systems the system will be okay thank you for watching if you like this video please kindly give it a thumb up like subscribe and share thank you